Welcome to the dashboard in a day chapter where you will learn to create your first dashboard in Power BI. This is based on an educational content made available by Microsoft Corporation and Obviance LLC in order to promote the use of Power BI. The dataset that we will use is a sales and marketing analysis. This type of analysis is very common for the chief marketing officer. Unlike the chief financial officer, the CMEO is focused not only on the company's performance internally, how well do our products sell, but also externally, how well we do against competing products. The company is called Van Arzel, manufactures expensive retail products that can be used for fun as well for work. This company sells their products directly to customers nationwide as well in several other countries. By the end of this class you will build a report which will look like the one here. The chief marketing officer can use this report to analyze Van Arsdell performance. In order to use the data set, please go to this address, you will have it also in the resources and uh, go here to download instructor content and you will have all the data set so you can start playing with your own Power BI file. After you download the zip file you will have the following structure. Here you have the data, international sales, US sales with the dimensions and you will be ready to start the training. Of course, first you install the Power BI desktop. Here are the recommendations from Microsoft in order for your Power BI desktop to run smoothly. And after you install it, we can start. We will have four chapters. The first one accessing and preparing data, then data modeling and exploration, Chapter 3 with visualization and the 4 with publishing and accessing reports in the Power BI service. So the first 3 will be in Power BI desktop and then we will publish it in Power BI service. First we open Power BI desktop. We have an all welcome screen. We close it. Now the first thing that we will do is to set the locale to US English in order to not have problems with the data format. So if you do not have it already, we go to File, Options, OK, Options, and now we go to Regional Settings. In my computer it is the US format, but if not, you go here and choose it. OK, English, United States. And now we start to import the data. We go to Get Data and here we can click More and we will see that Power BI has around 300 data sources from where we can import. We will import first the US sales data which is in CSV format. So we choose CSV, Connect. We go to our folder Data, US Sales and choose it open. And here you see that Power BI detects the data type within each column. It is detecting based on the first 20, uh, 200 rows. You can choose otherwise if you are not happy with it, but if the data set is too big, I don't recommend to use the entire data set. Now here you have three options. Load adds the data from the source into Power BI Desktop for you to start creating reports. Transform data allows you to perform data shaping operations such as merging columns, adding additional columns, changing data types of columns, as well as bringing in additional data. And cancel, you go back to the main canvas. We will use transform data and now we will enter in the query editor. As you see here, the query editor is used to perform data shaping operations. Notice that the sales file you connected shows as a query in the left pane here, sales. And here you can preview the data, here is the center pane. 
Here you see that uh, Power BI predicted the data type in each column and you have here in the left side of the name of the column, here it's 1, 2, 3, it's whole number. Here it's a date and here it's uh, the zip code, it's the whole number again. Here units is whole number and revenue is decimal number. And here in the right pane we have the query settings and you see here the apply steps. Power BI records its steps. Here is the connection to the source. Okay. Then it has promoted the headers so it recognized the name of the columns and put it as a name of the columns. And then change type where it assigned the correct type for every column. If we don't agree we can change it from here the type. We will make our first transformations regarding the zip code. Here you see that some zip codes may have a zero at the beginning and if we let it as a whole number we will lose it. So what we need to do is to change it to text. So we just select the column and uh, here data type we put it text. Okay, replace ca current. Now we will import the dimensional tables. We go to get data. In fact, now being in the query editor, we go to new source. Otherwise, we will have to close and apply and then go, go to get data. Now that we are here, we just go to new source and Excel workbook. Okay, BI dimensions. And we see that the Excel files consist of three sheets geo, manufacturer and product and one Excel table. Okay, this is the Excel table, this is the geography and this is the manufacturer. We select these three and press OK. And now you see that another three queries have been added here. Now that we have imported the US sales data which is in the sales CSV file we want to import also the subsidiaries sales data and they are in a folder called international sales and you see all these six countries. So now we will import data from a folder. So we go again to new source, more, folder connect and now we go to the folder path so it's international sales ok this is a very useful method when you have to combine data from multiple files in the same folder and for example if it is updated this folder with multiple files each month and you don't know the names of the file that are uh, introduce in this folder or the number of the files. So you aggregate them together and you only refresh the data after the new files have been added to the folder. The only thing is that the file type and the structure has to be the same in order for this method to function. We press combine and transform data and the combine files dialog box will open. By default Power BI will again detect the data type based on the first 200 rows. Notice that there is an option to select various file delimiters. The file we are working with is comma delimited so let's leave the default delimiter options as comma. Select OK and now you will be in the Power Query Editor window with a new query called International Sales. Again we see that the zip code is a whole number and we will have to change it as in the US sales to text. Another option instead of going here will be to click right, change type, text, replace current. Within the Queries pane you notice that the uh, transform file from international sales folder is created. This contains the function used to load each of the files from the folder. 
and uh, if you compare the initial files in this folder you see that we have two additional columns source name and country we do not need that source name so we will click right and say remove and now we have this additional column that is very useful it took the name of the file okay so we have the countries we see here only Australia because it's based only on the first uh, 200 rows uh, but we can go here at the drop down list and say load more and Power BI is calculating and now we see that we have all the countries and now that we have imported the data we are ready to prepare it first we can go to close and apply so now our tables are loading and they will appear here we have five tables from where we can start creating visuals here in the tables pane we can see them okay and here is the relationship we do not, we did not did not create it but we will see later see you in the next video where we will start preparing the data